Hello, all you beautiful butterballs. Hope you guys are all doing well. As per usual, welcome back to more esports talk. Quick side note before we get to today's episode. Have any of you guys ever seen my interactions uh, between me and G2 CEO, that being Carlos, who I call Carl? If you guys have not seen this, it's actually pretty inspiring today. Um, as, as to why I tweeted this out one time, it means a lot coming back to today. <coughs> Because today, and we have long talked about so many stars out there, right? You're so used to it almost by now. All the soccer and football, MLB, NFL, NBA stars now joining esports, not to mention all the entertainment and artists out there as well. But for the first time ever, when it comes to an esports team, the second time ever for Formula One, that's going to be Formula One driver who we talked about four months ago as he took his first podium and his rise on Twitch has been fast and vast. That's going to be Lando Norris, the one, the only, the driver for McLaren as well has now officially joined the esports scene with his own team known as Team Quadrant. We have some pretty cool news. Uh, we are here today launching Quadrant. And Quadrant is my dream. Something I've been working on for quite some time. Um, effectively, it's an esports team. But so much more at the same time um we're going to be doing gaming content apparel as you can see with this incredible hoodie i'm wearing and um uh and plenty of racing too because I, I i i race as well sometimes in formula one um but uh yeah that's what Quadrant is. Which is just super exciting. I remember covering him back in the day and the community was freaking out as this guy, as many others, especially during the pandemic, as a lot of sim racing did pop up and a lot more online things across the entire gaming scene. And so his growing on, growth on Twitch, of course, with Warzone as well, he was a partaker in that. Sim racing, a big thing as well. And of course, to note and mention, his esports organization and in team known as Team Quadrant will be partaking in racing, but he has actually noted as well in the future, wants to expand to other esports on top of that so super cool always love talking about brand new people entering esports although lando's been in the gaming scene for quite some time now and i'm sure his twitch growth will continue and tons of community members really do enjoy having this guy around and it's nice to see a bit of pizzazz every now and again right there are not too many formula one drivers who can actually i mean there's none that can say they have their own esports team besides lando so it's always a welcome uh kind of time to see a figure like that in the gaming now a second story out there for all of you is yes ever lingering something we have already talked about at length and probably will still in the future as it does continue to be a bit of a hairy topic that being potential dmca strikes and bans on twitch the latest mystery ban out there was actually voy boy from the league of legends scene in case you guys do not know him he was mysteriously banned just days ago and has now kind of put out a few tweets out there seemingly uh if there if it was communicated with twitch i did reach out to voy boy at this point in time still no response on exactly why he was banned he was actually banned alongside another league of legends streamer known as yoda who has ever since been unbanned and of course this past week or so I have covered so many DMCA strikes and claims and bans which were reversed within a day or two and sometimes within hours by Twitch it seemed if you were a prominent streamer during these DMCA times you should be fine Voy Boy, very well known in the League of Legends scene I don't know how Twitch uh, sees him in their eyes but still a, a very well recognizable streamer but I personally have already seen many streamers that have been getting DMCA strikes and bans being unbanned you know, pretty handily by Twitch. Maybe Boy Boy just fell back on that list and he should be unbanned soon. But as of right now, it's another mystery ban, which I assume is DMCA as we await his response. It's just very, it's very odd at this point in time, guys. I, I think there's some sort of miscommunication and certainly a lack of transparency as to what the true issue is between Twitch, DMCA, all of these claims, and these streamers, as there are certainly streamers getting different treatment than other streamers, which has long been a topic about Twitch. You know, how do you pick and choose who to defend? the most on your platform does it depend who is the most recognized who's the most viewed streamer because we've already seen other streamers get these three strikes or get these bans and be unbanned 
Unfortunately for Boy Boy, it seems he has not been quite yet. We will see if it does happen eventually. So it's really going to continue to be a hairy time for Twitch, and I will definitely keep talking about it because we've seen some big names go down, and I'm sure I'll be talking about this again probably sometime very soon this week. What do you guys think about this? Twitch bans do continue along with the strikes, and Lando Norris is the most recent star out there to now join the esports side of things. And next time, as per usual, hope you guys all enjoy. All right, take a sip. I know my outros have been a bit weird today, and I want to say it's the new studio, okay? Like, I feel closer to the camera, and I feel more comfortable almost. So I've been saying a few things here and there. Please don't hold me to it. Take a sip for me. Stay hydrated. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Take care.